Hi, welcome to Social Research Insights. Uh, from the past few sessions, I have been talking about how to deal with sensor data through microcontrollers. Uh, in this case, I'm using uh, Arduino uh, in order to study the behavior of the sensors. Uh, in my previous sessions, I've explained how to construct simple circuits uh, with the help of commonly available uh, uh, sensors. I have used a photoresistor or photosensor and the other name is LDR, light dependent resistor. Uh, I, I used LDR and also a couple of LEDs, uh, uh, LEDs uh, a couple of wires along with an LED and a microcontroller. Uh, uh, that which will help us to study the behavior of the LDR. So we can simply construct very simple, we can construct very simple circuits uh, with a couple of wires and uh, LED uh, and along with uh, microcontroller and we can read the environmental data uh, to, to the serial monitor through the microcontroller uh, I mean whenever I talk microcontroller in this case it is Arduino uh, and from there we can get that data to the to the any uh, program uh, any uh, I mean Python editor and uh, and there we can write a couple of uh, uh, functions and uh, which will help us to study the behavior of the sensor in my previous video i've explained how to write uh, i mean functions for uh, certain simple statistics like arithmetic average and uh, standard deviation and i use those functions in order to explain the sensor data which is streaming from the serial monitor uh, and which in turn is thrown by the Arduino from the photoresistor. In this uh, in, in, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to plot the same data by using a wonderful uh, lib Python library known as matplotlib. Okay, so we are going to use this uh, library, and we already have the data that we are streaming from the uh, from the uh, serial monitor. Uh, but whereas, uh, let me tell you one thing in Frank that I'm not using any uh, any microcontroller right now for this experiment or for this demonstration I'm just simulating the data from the from the Ubuntu Linux terminal by writing a couple of uh, statements in the uh, in the terminal okay so we just have to imagine that this data is uh, getting thrown by the microcontroller and which in turn is reading that data from the sensor so now let me implement this is a this is the code which we have been using f from the past a couple of sessions in order to uh, read that data uh, from the microcontroller to the python editor so let me run that uh, so the same way like uh, you can see that this is the data which is streaming from the from the we, we have to imagine that this data is streaming from the from the microcontroller uh, microcontroller is throwing this data to the serial monitor and from there we are trying to read this data and throwing that data into you can observe one important thing here the data is getting uh, after a couple of uh, iterations the data frame becomes steady and uh, and remains constant uh, for every five values so this way we can just get the data from the serial monitor let me close this and now as i said the idea of this tutorial is to is to know how to plot this data and see visibly h how the data looks like so that is actually the essence of data analytics the purpose of data analysis is to move the data from the semantic level to the schematic level so where the data analyst or maybe a decision maker will be standing in a good position to understand the data properly and also use such data uh, to take uh, decisions. Okay, so so as I said, uh, I'm going to I'm going to tell you how to make use of matplotlib library of Python in order to plot this streaming data. For that, I just have to import import matplot lib as plt so this is the beauty of python we need not just uh, uh, so instead of writing the name matplotlib i can now use just plt if i execute or call this library in this way okay so now uh, where is our data our data is here 
and uh, i think uh, mad plot lib uh, will not allow the popping data but we will see that later i'm going to create one more uh, okay let me put this way so let me plot the data to plot the data we need two variables x comma y okay so here y is our df data frame the data, data df means data frame which which is the data that which uh, that i am reading from the serial monitor and that data is there anywhere so here i can just simply substitute y with df and x we need so what is this x x is going to be a, a linear vector which means the x window will be moving one value to the other value just like 1 to 2 2 to 3 3 to 4 something like that and the data that which we are reading from the serial monitor and which is saved in an object called df will be popping up on the on the monitor so we ha we need a x variable and and a, a y variable so the y is already there but we need to form the x axis so what i do i already have a constant called c in my program i'll just make use of that c so what i do i, I append x with c so that my my x variable will be having a linear vector of values ranging from 1 to n so anyway as we have been using a new uh, object called x in this program so we'll create another list object called as x so that this x is available as a as a x axis to plot our data and anyway df is there so i'm going to tell the python that i want red color symbols or circle with dotted lines so this way we can just now plt pass for one second and plt show so let's see what's going to happen here i am sure that there will be an error why because we should not pop the values and python will not be able to set the graph for every uh, five values but anyway let's execute and see what do we need to cut yes i told you isn't it matplotlib has not oh i'm sorry plt oh so here i did a mistake matplotlib pi plot pi plot so this is how we have to now you see the graph uh, you study so it is study because we have not turned this graph as an interactive it just pulled only one and i just have to cancel everything so it will show me it is not interactive isn't it so what i do is just go back and think uh, so i make the plot bit interactive plt so to make the plot interactive i have to add one more statement called plt interactive on now i think we can see some sort of movement in the graph this time you can see that uh, my vector is also but after i told you after five iterations the plot uh, throws the error to the stdi so the pro perhaps the problem is here like we have to remove this mm, so now let's see what's going to happen so this time it should be should be able to go on and on yeah it's going so the graph is keep on moving you can see that very clearly that x axis now reach 14 iteration 15 16 18 something like that for every value of y the y value is uh, getting steady between 0 to 35000 i think there is a value which is going beyond 30000 and the x is getting increased slowly one by one now we reach the iteration number 40 and now we are going towards 45 so this way we can plot the streaming data from the 
circuits where uh, I mean we can study the behavior of the sensors by keeping them in some simple circuits uh, this way so if you like my video please press like and keep watching for the new content thank you